Hawaii. Can you uh, just introduce yourself and um, tell us a little bit about who you are? Um, I'm Debbie Patrick. Um, I go to St. Peter's Church in Hartshorn um, in Mercia Deanery. Um, I, oh, a little bit about myself. I um, am the church warden at my church and I'm, uh, so our church is part of a minster which is kind of a new concept um, in the way that we're doing it, but it acts a little bit like a benefice, really. So within the benefice, I um, run a parent and toddler group. So there are people on the team that are from the within the Minster. So they go to different churches, but we run this missional work together. Um, and I am also on an assembly team with them. But my warden work is just for my own parish. Um, and for paid work, I'm the administrator for Mercy Deanery. And what about family, Debbie? Um, sorry. Um, so I also have a family. Um, I have a husband called Jeff and I have three grown up boys. Um, um, so my youngest is 22. So they're quite grown up. Uh, one lives in Australia, one lives in Scotland and one lives in Bristol. So none of them are near home. And what what does your everyday look like? What's a typical day look like for you? Um, I my deanery admin takes up a few hours every day, um, and I have um, a dad that lives locally who I try and see, and I have an uncle who I see once a week. He's um, ninety five now, so I go and have a coffee with him once a week and make sure he's okay. Um, uh, I guess warden stuff takes up a little bit of time um, spotted throughout the week. Um, and well, lockdown, I've been quieter for all the wrong reasons. But soon I'm going to start getting really busy with my parent and toddler group again. Um, we have just been meeting on Fridays in a park. But now uh, come September, um, that will be Wednesday mornings and Friday mornings where we run them parent and toddler group and assemblies take up I guess um, on average I do about um, maybe three assemblies a week so um, so there that's there are 10 schools and there's a team of about five of us so we share the school we sort of bob around during the week leading assemblies for those. So really busy with lots of different things. Quite busy. It's all nice things though I like all of it. That's great. Uh, tell us what impact does your faith have on your everyday life? Um, my faith has um, a really big um, impact on my everyday life. Um, a really big impact. Probably um, I pro more so in the last four years. I mean, it's always had quite a big, big impact on my life. It's always kept me busy. I've been more intentional about the things I do since the last sort of like four years, since um, doing the um, Transforming Faith course that really um, reinvigorated um, my walk with God mm. and made me much more... Um, much more focused on actually what does God want to do with me? Not just uh, church is something that's really important to me and God is something that is very, you know, he, he's important all the time. But transforming faith made me um, search for, for, for purpose for my Monday to Saturday, if you know what I mean. My Sunday was already organized, mm -hmm. but what does God want to do with the rest of my week? Um, yeah, so since then, um, everything is focused around what God's doing with me basically which is really lovely mm -hmm. even my paid work even my um uh, I, I'm paid to be the deanery admin but I see it as um I actually feel called to do it too which is really super so um so yeah in that sense um a huge impact how can your church help support you in your everyday faith um I think um church um so prayerfully that's really important um especially because a lot of uh, what makes me busy is focused on people that they will never see 
um, and people that will maybe never go to church apart from the odd festival service or something. So, um, I, so church could pray um, because it's not just it's not praying for me so much as praying for all of those um, amazing people that have um, haven't got any faith in God at all at the moment. So, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Thanks, Debbie. Thank you so much for sharing your everyday story. Pleasure. Thank you very much for asking.